great performance in, uh, in Into Darkness. Thank you. Uh, but I have to ask, hot topic, have you seen the Robocop trailer? And, and no, I've not seen the Robocop trailer and I wish them well. However, it is the 25th anniversary of the film. I've introduced it six times. The last time was for JJ's company, Bad Robot, and all the people that work for him. And uh, we've seen it twice now. We haven't seen it in years. And it's a brilliant movie. I mean, it is a brilliant movie about so many things on so many levels. And I'm thinking, like, my gosh. You know, I haven't watched it in years. But, I, you know, after the age of information has begun and all this fight about what identity theft and what commerce will do to the individual, what, you know, if you control the top, you can control the bottom, doesn't matter if it's criminal or not. You know, the morality in it, the humor in it, I, it's brilliant. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a one-off. Yeah. And Paul Verhoeven's a very tough act to follow. Do you, yeah, I mean, Paul Verhoeven think... is gifted, and I gotta say, as gifted as the script was, as hard as I worked in it and the cast and crew, Verhoeven's touch fusing it with images and themes from myth about society stealing identity for quote unquote their own survival and subsequently the resurrection themes you can find Egyptian, Jewish, Christian, myth, doesn't matter. You can go to you can go to Asia and find the same resurrection themes. That would not have been there without Verhoeven. So I think that what lives in that movie is not all the fun stuff lives, but that last line, what's your name, son? Murphy. It gets me all weepy just thinking about it, you know, because when I saw it I went, wow. It is a soul. It's a soul, you know, the soul wakes up on its own, and that's Verhoeven's thing, you know, man, is that they can take everything away from you, they cannot take the soul. Soul is cosmic given, God given, whatever you want to say. You know, it's not for uh, human consumption. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.